Years. And let's talk a little bit about what summer means in terms of uh, for you. So we're going to compare the first day of summer versus the first day of winter, say for International Falls versus Brownsville, Texas. So the first uh, day of summer, you have just over 16 hours of sunlight in International Falls. But in Brownsville, Texas, you've got just under 14 hours. But look what happens as we add in, say, the first day of winter. There's a greater variation the higher up you are in latitude. You'll notice the first day of winter in International International Falls, you have just over eight hours. That's a huge variation for one year, whereas Brownsville, Texas, not as much of a variation because you're farther south. Of course, all of this kind of uh, impacted by that tilt of earth and how far north or south you are. Latitude plays the, the biggest role in exactly how much sunshine you see as we move throughout the year. So you can see Chicago and Omaha not too far away from each other in terms of uh, north to south distinction. So while we saw a big difference between international Falls, uh, Minnesota, and Texas, you don't see as much of a difference for Chicago and Omaha, both of them for the first day of summer, just over 15 hours of sunlight, and then for the first day of winter, just over nine hours, so a little bit closer there. Let's head to Washington and Arizona, where you can see the variation here is about two hours for those two places for the first day of summer for how much sunlight they see, and as we head into winter, same thing, about two hours of variation there. Paul. Some of you are already dealing with some storminess, and that will be the case throughout the day. We've got a bit of unsettled weather across the Pacific Northwest, the Southern Plains, and into the Upper Midwest. Here's what's going on. We've got a very slow moving low pressure system creating that chance for those storms, and we could see some strong to severe storms today, especially across the Dakotas and Nebraska. Places like Atlanta, though, you're going to be beautiful and sunny, hot and dry as high pressures in control of the western portions, especially over the desert southwest. Phoenix, you're getting up to 106 degrees today near average for places like Denver and Bismarck Atlanta same thing for you but well above average as you look toward places like Boston in fact Boston hitting 90 degrees this year before Atlanta so a little bit flip-flopped right now temperature wise Paul